This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and make sure you listen to the whole video before this is over because some people are just jumping to conclusions in the comments and it's getting kind of annoying. And as I notice, bad comments spread. People are influenced. So at first, Ebro uh, says that Takashi's career was popping in the past three years and it's over name, th name other artists. This is just his way to talk about Takashi. Now, um... Takashi did fall off a little bit. Like, let's be honest, okay? He sold 55000 He was. This is what happens when you make big claims and you downplay other people for not selling as much. Sometimes it comes right back around. Now, Ebro it hasn't been the best on the radio lately uh, for the past couple years. But Ebro did a lot of things for radio, too. So, like, there's a give and take there. Like, Ebro's entitled to his opinion. And that's how we feel. I'm not saying he's not he's wrong about Takashi. He's not. He just has a lot of opinions about a lot of things I've noticed. And it's just, you know, that's his opinion. Okay. Kendrick Lamar signs a new pub deal. Okay. So he had signed a BMI pub deal a year ago. But something, something happened with that. I don't know. So he has 13 Grammys and everything. I guess he's down with... Uh, they're sparking... Rumors of a mysterious PG Lang record label. So he has a, the likes of Baby Keem and others. So they're thinking that Kendrick Lamar starting his own record label, but he did do a new global administration deal with Universal Publishing, probably worth millions of dollars. Uh, they said Kendrick Lamar is not only one of the greatest lyricists that has ever lived, but he has done as much as or more than any artist to promote much needed change in our society through music. Uh, this is what the chairman and CEO said. I and my colleagues at UMPG are deeply honored to be afforded the opportunity to join Kendrick Lamar, Anthony Tupdog, Tiffith, and TDE family to help forward the, his unique and important vision. Maybe this has something to do with his label. I don't know. But, uh, we will see. Uh, then next we got Meek Mill. Okay. So the real only reason I'm talking about this is because on the last video, you guys are calling me a hater because he tried to holla at Lisa Ray and I'm saying, hey, Lisa Ray's kind of, you know, it's over, you know, like it's, I'm sure it's uh, for, we all wanted Lisa Ray when we were younger, but like, come on, like, you know, it was a joke and you know, she's she wants that money okay she even said it in the video she said and he can back up that bank account see they said something like this. she said oh yeah bring that too she wants to get spoiled <laughs> okay but you call me a hater for keeping it real on certain subjects when meek mill's the biggest hater in the game okay he tried to take out drake's career because he didn't show up to a concert of his he tried to call him he tried to say he had a ghostwriter he, he, he ran down and put pause on Quentin Miller because Quentin Miller spoke out against um, the ghostwriting thing. He said, I only helped him on a few songs with some rhythms. But instead, he he got... Quentin Miller is handicapped, my G. He's missing a limb. And, you, and, he, and he tore this guy down and put pause on him in the streets, allegedly, okay? Uh, he broke... He wanted Nicki Minaj all his life. And then all of a sudden, he... Nicki Minaj didn't want him anymore. And he tore her down in a whole in a whole uh, songs, many songs and interviews, tearing her down. She tore him down too. But Wale, Wale didn't tweet out his album. He attacked Wale. I mean, come on, that's just a few instances. There's plenty more. Okay, Safari. He put pause. He had pause put on Safari because Safari had something to say about his relationship with Nicki when. Meek Mill befriended Safari and stole Nikki from him. That's this is the biggest hater in the game. Now, now mind you, I think he's one of the best lyricists in the game. Okay, to give a positive spin on it, but as far as a person, he's a hater. But as far as making music and everything, I love his music. I love his lyrics. Yeah, he's, he's great. He's one of the. In fact, he should be protected. He's one of the best, one of the last street rappers we got. But he's one of the biggest haters in the game, okay? And if you can't do that research on your own and you just, you listen to my video and you think it's hate, it's not. It's me keeping it real. And if you can't handle real talk, you're just a butterfly. <laughs> Let's be honest. I love you guys for tuning in, but don't bring that butter, the butterfly comments over here. 
we're going to be honest over here. You guys keep it honest with me. I keep it honest with you. And that's it. Okay? I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Sorry about that, but I've been seeing all these comments. Like, you keep it real on a subject, and then you're like, oh, he's a hater. It's like, it's very easy to type that. But I'm just being honest. Anyways, I'll check you guys later. Peace.